Hey shippers, today I want to share with you the four books that I use to run my business by. And by that I mean these books kind of epitomize what I want my business to be when it grows up. And so let's get started. The first book is called Start With Why and it's by Simon Sinek. And if you've listened to any of my podcast rec uh, recordings in the past, you've probably heard me mention this book. It's an awesome book for reframing how you think about your company mission and most importantly, how you talk about that mission to your potential customers and your audience. So uh, Simon says people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it, meaning it's more important that you share a mission and a set of beliefs with both your customers and your employees if your company has employees. Um, than what you do and your what is really the manifestation of your why. So awesome book, highly recommend that you pick it up. Um, oftentimes I will pick up the audio book to uh, listen to while I'm doing other things and then uh, I'll get into it and I'll wanna kind of recap and be able to flip through so I'll get the paper version. Um, so underneath this video, I will link to Simon's TED Talk, which is a great sort of Cliff Notes way to get into the subject matter and see if you wanna read the whole thing, but highly recommend it. All right, the second book is Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Uh, I had the pleasure of actually being able to go and hear Mike present about this book in the last month or so, and uh, it was a great presentation, really true to what he says in the book. And basically this is a pay yourself first manual for entrepreneurs so that your business actually rewards you and um, has profit from day one rather than becoming like a cash eating machine where you're always struggling to keep up. And most businesses are not profitable or barely profitable. And so this book can completely change the trajectory, trajectory of your business. The next book is called Traction, Get a Grip on Your Business by Gino Wickman. Uh, not to be confused with a different traction book that's about scaling your business quickly. That's also a good read. Um, but this one will really help you structure your business and create the kinds of processes and structure that will allow you to build a business that scales. And I know that not everybody wants to like scale to be a huge business, but there's still a ton of good principles in here that are gonna help you no matter what size business you have. And in fact, if you see this little bookmark, I'm actually gonna read you uh, a few paragraphs out of this because it's one of the most common mistakes that I see business owners making. So this is in the um, chapter seven, which is called the process component. And as you know, I'm a super nerd for process and documentation. And the author says, in my previous business, I made a move that I call the $45,000 mistake. We needed a technology to manage the list that was created from our target market, meaning their email list or their prospect list, uh, as covered in chapter three. We kept a tremendous amount of information and history on our clients and prospects. We also needed to tie all of our North American trainers together. I engaged an organization that claimed to have the latest and greatest technology. They were going to create the ideal software for us from scratch. This software would connect sales, marketing, and operations. After months and months of work and $45,000 spent creating the software, we scrapped it. Instead, we used a simple $500 off-the-shelf product that did everything we needed. The mistake I made was in not taking a close look at the process and the market for software. I got too caught up in the sizzle of what that particular software company was promising. So I read that to you because this is probably one of the biggest mistakes. And um, as I've probably mentioned, ActiveCampaign is my preferred software for managing my list and it also acts as a full CRM and it's a really reasonable, inexpensive piece of software. And often, especially in enterprise level companies, I'll find that they're wasting thousands of dollars per year on much fancier tools that they probably think they should be using because they're a fancy company and they need fancy tools, but then they end up not using those tools effectively because they're really, really hard to use. So I give you that as a cautionary tale um, that hopefully you will keep in mind when, you're, when it's time to make your next software decision. And the last book in the list is Work the System by Sam Carpenter. Anyone who's listened to me talk for more than 10 minutes has probably heard about this book. I'm a little bit evangelical about it. 
And um, although traction goes into the importance of process a little bit, this really is the guide to systemizing your business and making it run with or without you. So those are the four books that I recommend. They've really had a huge impact on how I operate my business and how I think about my business. And I hope that you will enjoy them and find them useful as well. Uh, what's your favorite business book? Tell me in the comments if there's a book that has really helped you um, and transformed your business. I definitely want to know about it. All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on the blog, go ahead and head over to carveldigital.com slash tools and you can sign up to get a list of all the tools that I use to make my tech life easier and save lots of time and money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.